Fine. Thanks very much, Jen. And we've heard from the uh, Department of Public Works Commissioner Steve Stepniak here in the Weather Center within the hour, and he said things are kind of moving down there on Cass Creek, so we will monitor that situation uh, very carefully tonight. You know, I think we can hear the sound up there, Heather, the, something kind of beating on your umbrella tonight. Looks like the rain's coming down pretty well. Why don't you deal with the snow element of this whole weather package? Yeah, Kevin, some moderate to even heavy rainfall up here on the roof, but by this time tomorrow, it'll be falling as sleet, perhaps some freezing rain for some, and then eventually some snow late tomorrow evening into the overnight hours. We do have winter storm warnings for every county in western New York. Those go from Friday afternoon to Saturday afternoon. I expect the most changeable weather to be from late Friday morning into late Friday evening. Let's time everything out for you. The timing is something that we've been very confident with since about this time yesterday. We will wake up to rain on Friday and it could be heavy at times too. By 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, that's where we start to see that change over to some freezing rain and some sleet. Notice how long it hangs on though. This is 7 o'clock Friday evening, so a solid 3, 4, even 5 hours where some ice may be accumulating, especially in the southern tier. After dark is where we finally get air that is cold enough to see just plain snow, but you can see by some of those deeper blues that it's going to be a heavy snow from 10 p.m. on Friday until I think about 2 or 3 a.m. on Saturday. We'll see a few straggling snow showers through midday Saturday, which is again when those winter storm warnings expire. So here's again a quick look at the timing. We change over from rain to sleet and freezing rain at about 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Accumulations wise, a couple tenths of an inch possible in the south towns along the Chautauqua Ridge into the southern tier. Minor accumulation not out of the question in the city either. Big difference between where the heaviest of the snow is and where the dry air is working in. That's going to create a big disparity as far as snowfall snowfall amounts by Saturday afternoon. Three to six inches up into uh, the Niagara frontier, but notice 12 to 18 inches in parts of Allegheny County. Here's a quick look a little bit closer. Scott and Kelly, it is going to be a very interesting day tomorrow. We'll continue to give you the updates as we get them. Thank you, Heather. And ahead of this weekend's winter storm, Buffalo Public Schools has already canceled after school activities, including extended learning time, adult education and athletics for tomorrow. All Saturday programs have also been canceled. And with news of closings and the forecast constantly being updated, make sure you've downloaded the Two on Your Side app to your mobile devices. There you'll find our hourly forecasts as well as our radar that will help you stay on top of things.